everyone, welcome back. Today I'm in this place called the Albany Bowl. And it's called a bowl because this this part of the Bay Area, this land, is like a light bulb and it's completely made of garbage. It's not like garbage, it's construction garbage. It started in 1939 and all the way up till 83. So construction companies have dumped stuff out here as well as the railroad and after that it became a homeless encampment and there was a guy out here they called Mad Mark and he uh, built a castle out here and it was a big artist community this Mad Mark guy lived out here and the castle was supposed to replicate um, Rocky and Bowwinkle. I don't know if you remember that cartoon but there's a castle in it, and it's supposed to look like that. He also had some interesting beliefs that if you had shined light through your eyes, that you could heal. Um, so, anyway, I thought it'd be interesting to make a film of it. There's some cool art around here. So, why don't we go check out the Albany Park and then Mad Mark's Castle. People made art out of the junk out here. See this? Some put tiles there. Some made a heart. I like the heart. It is windy out here today. I have to fall on my ass. See what this is over here. And look at the view. San Francisco you got the Golden Gate Bridge there, San Francisco, the Bay Bridge. Natasha. This is like a memorial for people, it looks like, because they have their 86 to 2009. It's kind of nice and sad at the same time, right? 28, that's way too young to be dying. What's this one? This one's in color. Lives Matter. So you can see all the rock and concrete here. And uh, these are the things that Mad Mark used to make this castle that we're going to go check out. And the neat thing about this, you know, I lived in the Bay Area and I constantly discover new things to check out in the Bay Area. I've never seen any of this. Our lives grow, sweethearts come and go, and the moon keeps on trucking. Right. Keep on trucking this in the 70s, huh? This says cake. This looks like an old pier. Here's a little corner here. Caught my attention is a cat. 
see the cat there. Garden kitty. A lot of people walking their dogs out here today. Now this here, they have the little pathway. The Chinese of America. It looks like someone built a little bench. This is like a tribute bench. Oh, some rebarb here. Huh, someone even put a picture. These bottles. There's another bench here. Just a reflection bench. And they got they got books. Presbyterian Church. Revolution book. And you go through this little thing here and you pop up and you get this wonderful view. Now, if you're wondering what that building is over there, that's actually Golden Gate Fields Horse Raceway Track, which I've been to several times. I won like 20 bucks once. But I'm not a no betting person. Another bench here with a view and a path. I'm not sure what this means. This is two of eight. Giant powder company, and they got a QR code there, so maybe you can pause the video and scan it if you want to check it out. There's another bench, and it's interesting, they got this like skull thing with a railroad tie. You never even get that out. And there's another one over here. I know what that is. That's the Rosie the Riveter. I'm going to do that museum soon, too. Another bench on the way. A little sticker there. And there's a Pacific Coast Oil Company. With a QR code. Another tree, it's got a square piece sign, some more tile work. Interesting like swing hanging from it. And here's a bench. And there's a stairway going straight down. Which I will be walking down very gingerly. I don't want to fall on my ass. It's pretty steep, actually. You can't really tell from the video, but that's pretty steep. So you can see how steep it was. But I made it. I didn't fall. So now we're down at the water. Interesting paintings there. But you can see this entire island is just comprised of... of um, debris. Check out all the blackberries. Some of those puppies are ripe. Mm, the good ones have been picked. This stuff I'm walking on is called ice plant. It's an invasive species. Look at the squirrel up there. Yeah. 
These will be ripe in a few more weeks. Might be one or two. That one's a little tart. Lots of bird activity out here. Well, check this out. And over there is a crane. I don't know how close they'll let me get to them. They're usually... I don't know how freaky they are, people. Never been that close to a crane. Some made this out of bricks. And they even um, use like glue. There's some tile work here. Let me go see, try to film that bird before it takes off. There's the crane. Very gingerly walking. He's aware of me. You know, they're funny. They, I used to think they would only eat fish, but you see them on the side of the road, so they're, they've adapted to eating rodents, just like a hawk would. And when they fly, they got some big wingspans. He's looking at me as much as I'm looking at him. I don't know if you see his footprints, but they're big. Got big wide feet. He's smart, he just evaded me. See you later. Well, here's another example of some of the art made out of junk. Not sure what the wooden wagon wheel thing is. <laughs> the dog jumped in the water. It's made out of styrofoam. This has a Barbie and a little people. And a robot hand. Someone painted a nut and bolt there. And some interesting graffiti. So I think we're getting close to Mark's castle. Look at the skull on this one. It's kind of scary. There's like a sword up there. Looks like from Zelda. Zelda sword. What else we got here? Interesting graffiti. This branch looks like it's like grabbing the rock. This is just a bunch of uh, junk. I don't, I don't know if you'd call that art. It's kind of, I don't know, not, a, not too appealing to the eye. This looks like a bunch of junk to me. So this is another thing here. <clears throat> looks like once this span uh, spun in the wind, and look at that old motorcycle um, gas tank is the chest and the rib cage. So a guy just walked by and he told me get ready for windy corner. So hopefully the wind won't be too bad as far as the audio goes. Check out the octopus. The upside down, upside down baby baby. Big sign here, it's like a almost a house. And more uh, 
graffiti. There's an alligator down there. And look at this thing. Some kind of welcoming, I guess, woman, land woman. Well, that's interesting, no doubt. There's some pelicans out there. You see those two pelicans? Now, this guy's interesting too. Here comes that wind. He ain't joking. Now, from what I've read, all the Art out here is all made out of stuff that is already on the island. It's laying around or came to shore. Yeah, it's definitely windy out here. This guy's interesting. Let's go up this path here. I like the colors they used on this. And the crazy face. It's kind of like a cat. I'm trying to be aware of where I walk because we are in snake season. I don't know if rattlesnakes are up here, but they are in the Bay Area, so I want to be careful. <coughs> wow, it's windy. There's a little rope swing here, or a chair. This is definitely like an old school tree fort. Look, it says Batman. And there's some drawings on the tree here. <laughs> it says nice ass, be good. See, you hear the wind just blasting me? Check out these. These are, are weeds, but they certainly have pretty flowers to them. These things are sharp. Here's another character here on the waterfront. All, all these logs. Another like uh, alligator dinosaur creature. Now that's kind of cool. It's a wind sculpture that turns in the wind. Just for point of reference, that's Richmond over there. But there's a tunnel you go through and this is like considered the nice part of Richmond. And then the other side is the not so nice part of Richmond as far as crime goes and things like that. And then, look at this, the Golden Gate Bridge. So, uh, Mad Mark had quite a view out here. And this big concrete slab. Imagine the, the weight of this and how this ended up on the shore here. I could never, never know. Hey, you could do a seesaw here. Just need another person. Like the uh, like like wolf monster or something. I'm gonna call it a wolf monster. It's 
couple more um, slabs here and then another bottle. Something decorated. And then the back side of the wolf monster. It's a pretty windy day. You can see the ocean, or excuse me, the bay is acting like the ocean at this point. And up here there's a box or a birdhouse in the tree. And there's some rope swings over there. Let's see if I can get around them without getting wet. So there's a rope swing there. And this one here, it looks like you put your foot in it. That's some heavy duty rope, I'll tell you that. This, I think Godzilla might be able to swing on this. It's too small for a foot with the shoe on it. I guess if you don't have shoes on. Be good, be well. And here's another second part of the skull that is on the bench. See what else we can find here. Here's another one of those square boxes with Squidward in it. Okay, I think we're getting closer. There's a labyrinth. That's pretty cool. Dog, I guess. Or dragon. It's got a big tail. I think it's a dragon. Look at this face. Let's do a little exploring here. cheat and jump over the labyrinth. See what's in the middle. Paddle wheel here. all made out of uh, shiny stuff. It's all bicycle, bicycle wheels, <laughs> a Bronco's helmet, jello mold. piece of art here. This little basket here. Card says golden hour. Check this bench out here. Look at the view you get sitting here. Ah, 
That's an amazing view, the Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco. Here's an interesting piece here with mannequin art. Look at the face. Look at that guy. He's a Pac Man. Now this is more of a dwelling under the tree. Some kind of here. I hope you will as a person Pirate mask. There's the bottles jingling away. Some rainbow rocks here. Some kind of bizarre deal over there too and look at this uh, pyramid made out of bricks the fish you see the uh, chipmunk just sunning on the rock there well here we are the pathway to the castle castle itself. Now how he built this is another story because this is some strong stuff. Got a little spiral staircase here. Garbage bag. And amazing view. And the patio area. Pretty cool. Look at the red snake. I like that. View. 
guy here. graffiti everywhere. I like that guy. A robot guy with a lizard. See the lizard next to his ear? There's like a whole pit here full of rocks and graffiti on the rocks. That guy reminds me of something out of the 60s. Like, you remember those hot rod things? For those of you who remember that? Uh, what were they? Wacky, wacky rods or uh, something like that. There's another cat here. Ice cream cone. I'll take one of those right now. This is interesting here. Someone just made a tree fort out of wood and painted it. Cactus and the sun. Well, this is interesting. The cat. some kind of worm creature up there in the tree. They got an interesting wooden kind of creepy post man down there. And a big fish, maybe a sturgeon, and they got this shark. He's cool, he's all made out of wood. fish in his mouth. And they have this fishing pole. And even it opens up. This guy's a shark too. sit on. Hey, I hope you guys enjoy that urban art here in the Berkeley Shore. Pretty interesting. Never been here. Some people would call it junk. Some people would call it art. Uh, I call it art made out of junk. So if you like what I'm doing, you know, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll be feeding you more videos throughout the Bay Area and sometimes beyond. Thanks for coming on my journey today and I'll see you next time.